Ecologists study ecosystems. An ecosystem is defined as all the interactions of a group of organisms living in a certain area with one another and with their physical environment. There are a lot of differences in the amount of area ecosystems occupy, for they literally can be as small as this drop of pond water or as large as this tropical jungle. The variations in ecosystems are based on two different factors. First are the non-living things, known as abiotic factors, things such as water and light. Second are the biotic factors, the living community of organisms. For example, in terms of both abiotic and biotic factors, the wetlands ecosystem of this swamp is very different from the ecosystem of this rugged ocean shoreline, which in turn is quite different from the tundra ecosystem found on this snowy mountaintop. In order to better understand what an ecosystem is, let us take a look at some of the factors present in the ecosystem of a swamp. Water is a swamp's most important abiotic feature for it plays a key role in supporting a huge biotic community consisting of aquatic organisms. Water provides them with a place in which to move about and supplies the moisture they need to stay alive. Untold trillions of organisms of tens of thousands of different types inhabit every swamp ecosystem and each day each member of each interdependent community plays its own special role in the great drama of life. The community of organisms in a swamp ecosystem would include tiny rod-shaped bacteria like these, one-celled animal-like and plant-like protists, microscopic multi-celled animals such as this cyclops, and much larger animals such as fish, to name just a few. Living on the water's surface are a different assortment of organisms, consisting of plants, insects, and large animals like frogs and turtles. Of course, there are also birds and mammals that are attracted to swampy environments because they are good places to hunt. And for water-loving cypress trees, they are excellent places to put down roots.